Hey yo, Ren, turn that up. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your boy Black Arms Two Two Three. Uh, we're pretty much keeping it simple today. We're doing a basic handgun cleaner for a Taurus G3. If you have one, which I'm pretty sure everyone does, because uh, it's just a common handgun, most affordable one you can find in the market. That's kind of reliable at the same time, so it's definitely a bonus with this one. So if you are an avid gun collector, I'm pretty sure you got one. Or if you're just getting started, I know you got one of these. So definitely diving in on a quick cleaning. Uh, and how to break it down at the same time. Uh, Taurus is similar to a Glock. So it kind of breaks down the same way. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and make sure it's clear. This is loaded, but no rounds in it. Nothing left. Perfect. So first thing first, go ahead and catch the slot. These two pieces here, it's on each side. Bring those down. Hold them steady. Now with your other hand, go ahead and pull the slide back, bring it forward. Pull the trigger. Once you pull the trigger, you can go ahead and slide that forward and pull it on off. Normal frame, polymer frame here. And if you ever want to change out the trigger, this is where you work or this is where you go to to kind of pull these parts out. All right, you got your slide, breaks down to three different pieces. The slide itself, and of course, the spring. It also breaks down to your barrel. So that's pretty much your handgun, right? Just keep it pretty simple. Like I said, we're just doing a basic cleaner. So I always like to go through and try to get out as much debris as I can before I start adding a uh, borer cleaner and then my lubrication as well. So first thing I do is I take the my prong kit with a little bit of cotton on it and I go through the barrel, work my way through, get all that debris out. I just do it a couple of times just to make sure. Then I'm going to take my brush here. And I just work my way uh, through everything, to be honest with you. Just to make sure everything is cleaned out. There's no debris in here. And just give it a good once over, man. Don't be afraid to get in there. You're not going to damage it. This is made from shooting, remember? So you brushing it harsh is not going to cause any problems for you. You're just going to get out any debris that you can't see uh, with your own eyes. Pretty much clean. Same thing with the frame. Just go through, make sure all dust and debris is out of there. You don't want nothing in there because it's being transparent with your dust, debris, uh, build up, carbon build up from firing. This can all call, cause malfunctions when you're shooting. And that's the last thing you want. You ever want to be in a situation where your gun jams or you can't get a round out or misfires? That's pretty much an L right there. When that happens, that's it for you, bro. Let's say if you were actually in a gunfight or something was going on, that's the last thing you need is for it to fail on you. A split second like that, that can cost you. Or even if you're doing competition shooting or just shooting at a range, man. Always want to make sure it's clean. Everything is good to go because you don't want to be caught jammed up. That's pretty much as simple as that. And go through, kind of get everything in the debris. Because debris can build up on your spring as well. Kind of get through once over everything make sure all of that is clean and some people always forget this but just just touch base with your mag too man because whether you believe it or not dust gets down here it just makes it look better to be honest with you you don't want a dirty gun especially if you look like taking pictures with guns or just like showing your gun collection the last thing you want to do is show off a gun that's full of debris and dirt nobody wants to really see that 
Yeah, it looks worn, looks bad worn, looks good. See, so yeah, I've already been using this, but come on, man. Clean gun is the best gun. Like you said, would you have your house dirty? No, nah, I don't think so, man. So might as well get your gun clean as well. All right, so board cleaner, right? Easiest way to do this, man. Easiest way to do this. Get you a swab, right? It can be cotton ball, you can do just any type of tissue cleaner it can definitely work. There's some patches that came with uh, my cleaning kit that I have that I found on Amazon, to be honest with you. So you can always find something affordable, cheap, uh, that you can use. So never think you're stuck with something. And this is just a simple rope right here. You can push a little prong through. Just douse it with a little bit of board cleaner. I use Hops 9 pretty much for everything. There's lubricant sprays you can get or whatnot, but I haven't gone wrong with Hops my entire life. It's all I've been using. It's worked pretty good for me. Just go ahead and dab you on your board. Just like that. Quick bit of Cleaning board cleaning in there will definitely get all the dust and debris out of there. Don't have to keep going back and forth, back and forth, because that's, that's that's too much. Because what that does is leave fiber from any tissue in there. So just push through, push back. You gotta get pretty much everything out. Once you do that, this gun is actually pretty clean. So if you have a dirty gun, you may have to go through a couple of times to kind of make sure everything's good. Then you just add in some simple lubricant on a couple of different pieces here. You can put on your slot. You can put it on your springs. Just work it in there, man, just to make sure it's good. You can put it on your frame if you want, because your slide's gonna go back and forth on this thing. You wanna make sure there's no friction or any problems in there. Like I said, you can work that through with a smooth brush. Just like pain, man. Just like pain. Always want to make sure your slot has it as well. Like I said, friction is a killer. Don't need a bunch. A little bit will do the job. I just slide it through. That's it. That's just a quick once over everything. Once you do that, now you can just pretty much put everything back together. Remember, barrel goes in. Drop and spring afterwards. So that's in. That says, like I said, just with a Glock, slide it right back on. Once you slide it on, push it all the way back. It's gonna lock in place for you. You don't need to do anything else. I think I put this on upside down. Let me double check. Yeah, there we go. Like I said, I don't need to blow it in there, but it's pretty simple from here. It up. It sounds much better. 
course, there's gonna be some SS oil on there. That's good. That's definitely good for you. Don't worry about that. Lubrication is key, to keeping a healthy firearm. Safety on, no that. Good to go. That's the Toys G3 cleaning and breakdown. Simple as that. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be more gun cleanings. Up next, I'm probably gonna do an FN. Stick around. I got you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.